Welcome back to my channel. We're looking at bearings right now. So let us read the question quickly. It says here, um, A is on a bearing of 60 degrees from B, right? So this is very important coming from B. Um, what is the bearing of B from A? All right, so let's put the question aside, right? So let's take a look. We are suggesting that A is on a bearing of 60 degrees from B, and then we want to know the bearing of B from A. But let us put this on first. A is on a bearing of 60 degrees from B. From, that's your starting point. So we're starting from B right here. A is on some bearing somewhere out here, right? Now, all bearings are from the north, which means that from the north line, going in a clockwise direction, this is our 0, 6, 0. So this is our 60 degrees here. And then on this line, we're going to actually have, we're going to actually have A somewhere out here. So I'm going to drop back my north line. So north is very important. So we are suggesting that A is here and B is on this bearing, B, right? So A is on a bearing from B, as you could see right here. So here is the thing. Here is the thing. The question really wants us to find this. It says, what is the bearing of B from A? Bearing of B or from A? Bearing of B from A, which means that all I'm going to do is go to A, go to the north, and then come in a clockwise direction until I touch the line that leads back to B. So our intention is to find this degree right here in red. There are a number of ways we can find that, right? What we could do is remember that Z angles are equal. So this angle right here is the same as this. So right here is 60 and it stopped right here. But remember from north to south, because this is south, is 180 degrees. So if we should add 180, to the 60, we're going to get that. So the answer is 180 degrees plus the 60 degrees, and it's going to give us 240 degrees. This is the bearing of B from A. Bearing of B from A is 240 degrees. Here we go. See you next time where we'll be looking at another problem. Bye-bye.